transformation, you have two options and approaches when trying to get to the goal. You've got the everyday approach, which is like this. Um, by the way, if the goal is up here, you've got two ways of getting to the goal. Let me just, if I rub this out, make it a bit smaller. You can put some effort into fitness, put some effort into work, put some effort into family, put some effort into hobbies, put some effort into travel, put some effort into socializing. The problem with that is it takes you to level one in everything, which is obviously there's a big gap between where you want to be and where your effort is going to take you to. For the season of October to March, I want you to double down on what I'm about to say now. You go all in on health, and as a result of that, you then put all your eggs in the basket and breach through the goal. Momentum will also carry you through the way. Now, understanding as well, you work in a specific way. So you will do work 12-hour days, which means we need to have food prep locked in, as a matter of fact. We need to have days stacked up, as a matter of fact. Um, you're then going to be rotating of 11 shifts. So 12... So we're still going to aim to make progress in these 11 shifts for 12 uh, for 11 days for 12 hour shifts we're still going to make progress we need to factor in that we need to structure out the routine how we're then going to move forward with this there is no day that will be wasted on this plan not not in a not in a long shot and then we've got four days off now in those four days off and you could look at it like this for your first 11 days your season is going to be work and you've also got fitness now on your days off, you're still going to make that family time. You're still going to do the minimum effective dose you can of family time in that given day, which if you work 12 hours, that gives you another 12 hours. You're going to sleep for eight or seven, ideally. Um, and that's still going to give you another four where we can still train. You still have an hour of family, but we just need to be bolt rigid with the way that we're dealing with the times. Um, now, what I will also say is, People sometimes have a hard time understanding that you want to go all in on yourself for a season. Why? Well, because ultimately, if you're going to go in on, on all in on yourself, you think that you're going to neglect other things. One thing I will say is when you're on a flight, they say in the event the oxygen mask flow down, you put yours on first and then you put other people's on because you have to help yourself before you can help other people. And we, and, and I'm sure you, the answer, you, you know the answer to this. But if I said, "Are you going to be a happier person if you're in shape?" Yes. Are you going to be better to be around if you're in shape because you're happier? Yes. Are you going to be a bigger leader, role model because you're in shape? Yes. Will that bring you more happiness? Yes. Will that help help the people around you? Yes, as well. So in a weird way, you kind of have to double down on yourself to help other people. Now, I'm not saying neglect family. Not, not in a million years am I saying neglect family because no one would do that and no one would follow this plan. All I'm saying is we channel everything into the, the season of health and fitness. And what this really means is you align your thoughts, you align your decisions to this health and fitness season of your life. And I keep calling it a season of your life because to get to the goal is about four times harder than it is to maintain the goal. So when March comes round, the season is not going to be fitness. The season is going to be family. The season is going to be one to two sessions in the gym per week and the rest of the time spent with family. But for now, the season is fitness. And we must understand that when it's the season, it's time to work. When it's not, it's time to spend it on other things. And fitness then goes on to the minimum effective dose. Where I'm going with this is you can't do everything at once. So I'm asking you to pick your poison with what you are going to put the work into. Not neglect the others, but put it on enough so that they don't regress. But this is not forever. This is for the time and the transformation. And what you will then do is you will align your life to get into the goal as fast as you can as possible. Now, we're going to come on to... The, the plan in a second but ultimately I'm going to ask you to get up at a certain time I'm going to ask you to do a certain amount of walking which again should be captured a lot of work as well I'm going to ask you to train x amount of days per week I'm going to ask you to prep food I'm going to ask you to do cardio at some points and I'm going to ask you to get into bed at a certain time and you're going to need to do family so what you need to do is you need to audit your life and work out where are you wasting time because we all waste time but you need to be for someone in your situation, family to run, job to do, and you want to do a transformation, you want to audit where am I wasting time and how can I be efficient with that. So in the military, when recruits go through training, they are told, 
be at a certain point, be at a certain place, at a certain time, with a certain kit, with the right attitude. And then because there is so much structured into that timetable, it's just a case of plug and play for the day and you get a lot of stuff done. You can achieve the same, but you have to be intentional with your day. If you don't plan it, life will just happen for you and the thing will not get done and the result will be a distant uh, dream, if anything. So you must audit your life. Write down what you need to do tomorrow, the night before. It is so important you don't skip this because I can give you the plan. You can try and go from A, where you are now, to B, where we want to get you to. But ultimately, if you go to A without doing this first, you'll start, you'll make progress, something will happen, you'll make side progress. You'll get back on, you'll make progress, something will happen, you'll go backwards. You'll make progress, you'll go backwards, you'll go sideways. You'll go forwards, you'll go backwards, you'll go sideways, you'll go up, down, and you'll move around like this. And the sad thing about this, this still takes effort. This is still effort, but we didn't get to the goal. The only way you are truly going to get to the goal is to act like you're already at B. You're not someone that's trying to get in shape. You are a fucking athlete and you're going to live in accordance with the athlete lifestyle. Athletes still have families. Athletes still have jobs to do and they still go and do those in their day. But everything else is mapped out and the way you move about life is I don't do X because I'm an athlete. I do Y because I'm an athlete. And that's the way we want to see and go through life. So that's that's very, very important. We, we don't miss on this moving forward.